Okay guys, so in the beginning when we start the concept, we look at the concept and we want to start modeling it. Okay, so we have the sphere of course. And the sphere, what is the sphere? The sphere is the main thing, so it's the head, it's this part of the head. And from it, we need to extract some things. In this case, we need to extract the nose. Let me show you now. So, this will be our sphere. It's this thing, the main shape. And then we will extract a nose here, yes. And all these things, we will extract it. And then we will start think about other forms. But in the beginning, we need to extract this. We need to extract ears at some point, although the ears are not as important. But for the whole shape, for the whole, um, let's say, anatomy of the thing, we need the ears, we need also this, the beard, and the teeth, of course, at some point, but they are not as important. In the beginning, the most important thing is the following. Let me show you. So, I get my mm, move brush, or the grab brush, in Blender, and I just grab it and move it. So, this is our nose. The, f the top of the head of this saber tooth cat, or saber tooth lion, or tiger, doesn't matter, is very flat. So... Uh, it's very flat from the nose back to behind the ears even it's kind of one flat area a little bit round but flat there is no forehead or something to talk about so let's do this i'm pushing the nose also here because you can see the nose the bottom of the nose here is kind of going uh inward from the top of the nose to the bottom of the nose inward and then we will see how it will go but in the beginning we just need to have something the other thing, I will make the nose like this, and the head overall will be wider than the nose shape. And we even can have a little bit of an inward part in the middle of the nose. So we have this, and now I will get my ears. So I will just extract them like this. This easy extraction of ears, just pull them out of the shape. You know, usually when I use, um, when I sculpt heads, but human heads, uh, I want to be a little bit more exact with the ears. That's why then I just mask, revert the mask and extract the ears. But in this case, we don't need that. We need overall shape of this uh, cat, saber tooth cat. So as we can see, I'm doing the nose here, the nose. We have this shape down, okay? We don't have the teeth because we don't need them, but Maybe you notice, maybe you don't, but I will, sh I will tell you that this is very low poly. And uh, you may tell that this is too low poly, you cannot do it. But as you can see, with this super low polygon count, I can definitely see already that we have something that's looking relatively fine. You see? It's looking relatively fine. Okay, I can admit that I have done this concept a couple of times before this video which is normal because in order to to be able to teach you something i have to understand it completely so that's why i practice and if you have to do something like a concept or anything i advise you to do it a couple of times first time spend like three four five hours on it and you will be able to get familiar with the whole thing then the second time just start from scratch uh, i know it's uh, seems like a waste of time but every time you do it i promise you you will get better this is a thing that mm, you need to just practice and practice always makes you a little bit better every time now i'm pushing here because this will be my eyes and as you can see they're a little bit more inward but the idea is that mm, the nose and the eyes are connected by this line here this a little bit darker line here it's not a little bit darker it's very visible the line between the nose and the mouth and this line we will make but now we just need to make that seem that it's kind of there i'm trying to work as much as possible in this low poly mode because this will make my work a lot easier afterwards since i cannot go into much detailing here and yes when i was a younger artist there are other older artists that i was learning from and they were saying the same thing they were saying start low try to keep yourself low and then go higher but the urge was too big and i was going higher a little bit earlier but with practice uh, i learned that yeah uh, try to squeeze as much as possible from this low poly you know from the low poly mesh 
it's difficult, I know. Uh, when I was young, it was difficult because you don't have the experience, you don't have the practice, you, you don't know how to do it, you know. Uh, at some point you are like, but I cannot do more with this ultra low poly. But as you can see, it's looking kind of like the concept already. Already, it's just the main forms are very similar. And we have them and we can continue by just remeshing. So now in the newer blender, when you're trying to call out the mesh, not the mesh, but the, the grid for remeshing, you don't press Shift R anymore. You press R, just R. And then you just go 0 0.06 or 7, whatever, and then Control R to remesh. But as you can see, it's not symmetrical. So we go here in the upper corner and symmetrize it. So now it's symmetrical and we can continue. This amount of polygons that I have now are completely sufficient for what I'm about to do. Now I'm smoothing because I need um, to gather my thought or something. And now I will make the triangular shape of the nose. As you can see, the front of the nose is pretty triangular. Although from the top view, this will be an arch, which is going backwards. But other than that, it's pretty triangular. Then we have a little bit of a lip and then we go back with this lip here. We have to have place for our teeth, which we will add a little bit later. But now you see that this looks almost good, you know, which is good, which is great. Okay. Now, as I said, practice is the key. Now I'm using a lot of brushes here, not a lot. I'm using just a few brushes. I'm using the grab brush, which is very important, one of the most important brushes. I'm using mm, the draw sharp brush to make sharp things like this, just to sharpen a little, the draw sharp brush. Then I'm using the grab brush, for example, to do this, because I see there are some kind of, you know, eyebrows, which are not like mine. Mine is almost one eyebrow. I don't know, it was heavier here, but now it's not, whatever. So we have this and uh, yeah, again, draw sharp brush. Yeah, I can tell you a little bit of the brushes here, but it doesn't matter that much. The purpose of this lesson is to kind of give you an idea how I think about the concept when I start doing it. Because the first few hours of making one concept is are the most important, most likely. Yeah. Because this is your base. If your base is flawed, Maybe uh, you will not be able to, you know, to make whatever you do, the whatever flavor you put afterwards, it will not do. I mean, if it's shit, if you put a lot of sugar on it and cover it with chocolate and everything, at the end, it will be a shit. Although beautiful, although it may smell a little bit better, but it will be shit. So you have to just put, mm, you know, more effort into the beginning stages and the beginning stages are actually where I master at. Why? Because I train a lot in the beginning stages. I always start with a sphere, I do something, and when I uh, reach a certain point, I usually uh, gave up, I'm not interested anymore that much. Except when I'm working uh, for some project, uh, for a company or for freelance, then I finish it. But the idea is that finishing it is not the hard part. The hard part is beginning it. And uh, and continuing it and reaching up to a point that everything is looking great. And then you can spend your time doing details. You can spend your time, uh, you know, making it prettier. But you have to reach this stage, which is the difficult part. Now, what I'm noticing here is I need to just do, you know, this kind of, uh, you know, going down here. The, the upper lip is going down like a little bit of a, like a dog or a cat, as we can see here, or a lion, because this, some people say that those are saber tooth lions, some people say they are tigers, but overall, it's a saber tooth cat, uh, whatever it is, I mean, lion or not, I don't care, nobody cares, maybe some people care, okay, it's cool, it's cool, if you care about the saber tooth cat, it's okay, but now we are on the stage that Overall, it looks relatively fine. We need to put some details. Now, we need to uh, dig the ears. We need to put a little bit more here before the ears. And just to cover the ears, the beginning of the ears a little bit. Then we need eyes. But uh, now we will not be able to have eyes because we don't have... This, we have a little bit less geometry than 
uh, we're supposed to have for the eyes. But overall, as we can see, we are pretty well in this point. Now I'll press R and increase the geometry. Usually I will play a little bit more in the in this stage, in the later stage, in the latest in the latest stage. But uh, in this case, case I don't want to lose your time, so I will go up one level in the geometry and up one level. What that what does that mean? What what does it mean? Up one level. What is it? Up one level means like double the geometry, for example, or triple the geometry, but not not more than that. Double or triple the geometry. In Blender, what does that mean? Is when you press R in the latest Blender 3.5, because before that it was Shift R, but now it's just R. And then let's just see it from the back. So R, and you see 0.02. If it goes lower than that, it will be less uh, dense. I mean, more dense geometry. And if we go up, you see the the polygons. This this is the actual size of the polygons that you will have. In our case, we need the polygons to be like double the size, I mean, double the density, so less size. But the idea is, uh, yeah, you know what I mean, probably. If you don't know, ah, uh, yeah, it's difficult, but practice is what you need. Many people are asking, but what density should I use in the beginning? What density should... Uh, in the beginning, I always use the I always use the default density, which is 0.1, I think, and I work with it for a while. Now I'm using the pinch brush just to make this uh, a little bit pinched, and the pinch brush is with the uh, the, the the P key. By the way, I don't know why my keys are missing here. They should be there. Ah, they are here below this. Okay, thank you very much, keys. You are hidden like crazy. Okay. But whatever, it doesn't matter that much, since this is not about Blender, although I'm mentioning some things about Blender, this is more about the way that you have to think, or at least my thoughts, how I think about the concept, when I see a concept, how I started from scratch, how I started from a sphere, because I usually do, do this. I start from a sphere, especially it's very useful to start from a sphere, not from some kind of already ready model when you are sculpting something stylized when you're sculpting, uh, sculpting something highly stylized like cartoon character uh, it's useful to start from just from scratch from sphere because then you have the freedom the artistic freedom to do it exactly as it is in the concept instead of uh, you know trying to change some things from a ready mesh which usually uh, is difficult to change maybe you will not be able to it's 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 hard. I prefer usually to start from absolutely from scratch. And yeah, I recommend it, I may say, because this gives you more experience. Uh, that's for sure. I mean, you will be more experienced if you always start from sphere. But at some point when you think you are good enough, uh, you can, especially for human models, uh, even stylized, you can start from um, base mesh which I don't. I always start from Sphere, at least for now. I always start from Sphere. Why? Many people are asking, why are you starting from Sphere? Isn't it more, uh, isn't it faster to start from a base mesh? It depends. Maybe it's faster for most people. For me, it's, uh, it's kind of the same because I'm pretty fast. And uh, when I start from Sphere, the fun is the biggest. I have much more fun when I start from a sphere. And that's why I like to start from a sphere. By the way, if you want to see some of my courses and stuff, because I sell courses of ZBrush, of Blender, of Anatomy also, you can check out links in the description to RStation, Udemy, and my other channel, by the way, which I do some lives. They are pretty long, like two hours. I answer questions. I do some very fast, uh, you know, concepts from scratch for two hours, whole character. It's, uh, yeah, it's interesting. So you can check it out in the description of this video. But let's continue. So now we have all the main things. We have this, uh, the front part. You see how it's like, um, like separated. It's, not, it's got, like going down. It's like uh, hanging 
these parts here. And now we need eyes and teeth. How to do eyes? So I go to object mode, I add a sphere, then I go to edit mode and make it smaller. In order to see it, I will go Alt-Z. Alt-Z is X-ray mode. Yeah, I'm talking about Blender here because I think many people will be uh, kind of... Uh, it will be curious for many people how I work in Blender. Because Blender is... Even now, it's not the most, you know, most used tool for sculpting. Mm, for professionals at least. But uh, I consider myself professional and I'm using it. So I think it's, it's okay for professionals nowadays. Blender is completely okay. Now, what I did is I made the eye, then I duplicated the sphere and side, uh, scale it to the z-axis only and made the, the tooth, one of the teeth. So, this tooth will be our tooth, one of the teeth, and the other one I will make with mirror. So, I will have to go here and adjust the mirror modifier and it will be okay. We have two eyes and two teeth, which is great. Now, uh, yeah, those are, you know, easy things. When you are sculpting digitally, usually you want to be able uh, to work faster. And that's why we have symmetry, a very important thing, by the way. Uh, so you work only on half of the object, basically. And the other thing we have is mirror. When you have like eyes or teeth or even hands, and then you mirror them to the other side. So you do just one of them. One arm, one teeth, one tooth. In this case, because we have just two. But if you have more teeth, you probably will have to do a couple of them on one side. And then just mirror them to the other side, which is great. The eyes, of course, are the most important thing. Uh, one of the most, let's say. Not the most, but yeah. One of the most important things are the eyes. Now, uh, what I like to do now is uh, increase maybe the geometry a little bit more so I can do my eyelids. Overall, I'm happy with the result. I'm happy with how the head is coming out. And I will do one more R and then move to 0 0.9 or 0 .1, uh, 0.009, for example. But warning here, don't go too low. If you go too low, it could be a disaster. For example, if you go R and then you go like 0 0.0009, which is the lowest, so three zeros after the point and then one, and then you click on the screen and, and control R, most likely your computer will go. I mean, it will not blow up, probably, but it will freeze. I did it. My computers, my laptop and my computer are uh, 64 gigabytes of RAM, very fast processors with a lot of cores, but even they cannot handle this and they just freeze and uh, I have to restart them from the bottom. So, don't do this. Just go 0, 0.0, like let's say 0 0.09 or something and then it should be okay. And then I smooth. Of course, you can go a little bit lower mm, with the number. So, a little bit higher poly count. But always be aware, don't go too low, too fast, on the number I mean, or too high on the poly count, too fast, because this will eat you. I mean, it's not a good idea. It's not a good idea at all. So be careful with that. And that's my uh, thing. Now what I will do is I will very fast try to improve this model by just going and adding some like hairs in here, for example, just very quick uh, this will in any case it will not be uh, something to brag about but it will be a fast just a fast study which i recommend you to do sometimes i don't recommend this studies to be mm, like 20 minutes uh, like i did here i recommend them to be much much longer like two three hours at least mm, yeah i'm pretty fast which you don't have to be Fast is not a skill that you want to achieve in the beginning. In the beginning, you want uh, to be more precise. And the speed is, it will come eventually. But don't pursue it in the beginning. The speed is not your uh, thing to, to pursue in the beginning. It's always the quality before 
quantity. Quantity is not as important. Now what I'm doing, what I'm doing is I'm getting the paintbrush and I am just, you know, putting some little bit of a painting here and there just to, you know, to make it look a bit better. 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 And it's starting to look a bit more professional. I'm trying to make this video not very long because long videos on this channel particularly I don't like to do that much. In my other channel I don't mind. I mean I'm doing their very very long videos like two hours or something but they are lives so I think it's fine. In this channel we, we have to try to make them a little bit you know not so long. Uh, and what I mean by the other channel, I mentioned it already, It's the link is in the description of this video. Or at least should be, because I haven't made the video yet. I mean, <laughs> I haven't made the description of the video yet. But it will be there, most likely. Yeah, I'm trying to do these things that the artist done has done. Uh, just a little bit of, uh, you know, things here and there. Just to make it look more uh, interesting with those shapes. And it's, uh, I think it's working. Should be, at least. I think it is. It is working and it will be pretty great. I don't like this completely. But overall, I am happy with the result we have. Yeah, we might have a ponytail on the back or whatever. It doesn't matter. What matters is how we started. How we think about the process, that's what I wanted to, to show you. How I think about this process and yeah, what brushes I use and how I do it fast and furious in my case. But as I said, don't aim for the fastness, aim for quality. Quality is difficult. Maybe I can make the rest kind of the body in my other channel as a life, but we'll see. Alright, thank you and uh, yeah, see you in the next video.